Hello, this is me doing a review on my Ratchet and Clank action figures that I have so far. I've got all of them except for regular Ratchet. And I'll be starting with Ratchet, I mean Armored Ratchet, Clank, and Mr. Zircon. Now, Ratchet and Clank are the main characters in Ratchet and Clank. And, um, and Ratchet is the last Lombax in the galaxy, even though he's so far met two others. And he's searching for his kind which were supposedly killed by Emperor Percival Tachyon. And um, Clank here uh, was introduced to Ratchet in Game 1, where um, he was created in a Blargian robot factory, even though we learned that he was actually created by Orvis, who is the senior caretaker of the Great Clock, which keeps time in the galaxy. And um, Clank spends most of his time as a backpack. Uh, he's got this little thing here that attaches to Ratchet's back. Um, he's got these two wings here, which were given to him in Tools of Destruction by the Zoni, so um, Ratchet could glide around that uh, city and that one planet. And Mr. Zircon here was a gadget that was introduced in Tools of Destruction. And, um, you basically, he's basically like the Synthenoids in Game 2, Going Commando, where you, th where you, um, throw him out, and he will, uh, uh, where you throw him, and he will, um, shoot the enemies that are, um, attacking you. He's got this little invisible uh, see-through thing that attaches to Clank, which attaches to Ratchet, so it looks like, um, Mr. Zircon's floating around Ratchet. And, um, these were the first figures I got, and next I'll be moving on to, um, Captain Quark and Scrunch. Captain Quark is a phony superhero who is also in all the games, and he was a bad guy in part one and two, and now he's a good guy, and, um, he's definitely the biggest of the action figures. He comes with a little monkey named Scrunch who um, was introduced in Game 3 from Planet Florona and um, and basically Quark just likes having Scrunch around even though I haven't seen him in the games in a while and and yeah that's about it for him and last I have Dr. Nefarious and the Zoni one of the Zoni Dr. Nefarious was first introduced in game number three and um, up your arsenal and when he was trying to turn the galaxy into robots and uh, and uh, he was stopped at the end by Ratchet and Clank and a bit of help from Captain Quark and he came back in Quest for Booty I think where he was uh, the now he's the main bad guy in a crack in time uh, he's not trying, I don't think he's trying to turn the galaxy into robots anymore. But I think they, but now he's trying to take over the great clock so he can control time and take over the universe. It's basically the whole bad guy thing. And last, here's the zone, one of the zoni. Um, they're little invisible creatures that built the great clock, which I already told you, um, keeps time in the galaxy. And... And they are, um, they help Clank because he's the son of the senior caretaker, and he's the new senior caretaker. He, they were working with, um, Dr. Nefarious at the beginning of A Crack in Time, um, but when they wouldn't let him into the Orvis chamber, then he sent out a hypersonic brainwave scrambler, which, um, got rid of the Zoni. Even and they're the ones who gave Clank the wings and tools of destruction. Anyhow, yep, that's so far all I've got in series number one. Um, except um, I'll probably make my next video when I get the regular Ratchet. Um, but I know there's going to be a series two coming out this fall with new characters. So anyway, that's um, just about it. That's my review. Bye.